Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. And, um, vlog. What have I been doing? I'm sure you're wondering that. So, last night I did a lot of work. Um, basically, I built this thing. I'm sure you're wondering what this giant thing really is. I posted a picture on my Facebook of a finished product. So if you saw that, then you kind of had an idea what it is. Somebody guessed it right. Um, and I, I have been talking about a future brick film, and that is what that was right there. Uh, moving on, let me go ahead and get to the fun stuff of this vlog. Um, okay. So today, the official rumor list of the uh, 2013 sets got released. So I'll read them off. Uh, the first one is the Lego Old Republic Battle Pack. Second one is Lego Clone Troopers vs. Droidica's Battle Pack. Third one is an A-Wing. Uh, that'll have Emerald Akbar, Han Solo, and an A-Wing pilot in it. Third one is an ATRT, the Chicken Walker, as I like to say it. Uh, that'll have Yoda, a clone trooper, possibly an ATRT driver, uh, as a clone trooper. And then an Assassin Droid. Uh, next one is a Z-95 Headhunter. Um, it's kind of like a... Arc 170, I guess you could say. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. That has clone troopers and a possible, possible General Krell in it. That'll be cool. And the last one is a Lego Rancor pit, which we saw earlier. Uh, and on for the planet sets, we have Lego Planet Camino that has an astronic, astronic McDroid, ah, astronomic droid, uh, and Jedi Starfighter. And uh, next one is Lego Planet Coruscant. That'll have a clone pilot. So this looks like the Coruscant will have an old Republic tie to it. So I have a clone pilot and then the Republic Striker as the mini version. And then this one I'm interested in about because it says it's uh, Asteroid. And I know what it's talking about. It's, so it's Asteroid and then it says TIE Bomber and TIE Bomber and then TIE Pilot. So, I don't think they'll be able to use the actual planet, you know, that one, like, ball, and they just print on it. They actually might, um, make, like, a Lego brick-built asteroid. I don't know how that's going to look like. So, that's interesting. Uh, so, let's get on to the details. What I think about, uh, you know, some of these have figures listed, some don't. So, we have to guess on some of this stuff. So, first one, Old Republic Battle Pack. What do I think? Um... I'd say two, maybe maybe it's like one Sith Trooper from the, uh, what's it called, the the Fury class thing. Um, one Sith Trooper, and then one droid, it's kind of like, it looks like a droidica kind of, um, from the uh, Old Republic trailers, that and that. And then for like the good side, the, 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 nah, the Republic side, um, I think maybe the trooper, um, and then maybe like a commander trooper. Not not the guy that we got in the striker. Maybe a different one. Maybe like uh, like some other guy uh, that we don't know about who was actually in the game. Um, and then the clone troopers versus Droidica's battle pack. I'm gonna give a good guess that this is the first battle pack that we're gonna have phase two clones in. I'm hoping what would be cool is just two regular um, clone troopers and then. An, Maybe two different types of droidicas. More or less, because it says droidicas, not droidica. So more or less there's going to be two of them. So I'm thinking like maybe two clone troopers, two droidicas. Um, it would be great if both troopers are, both were just regular phase two clone troopers. That would make my day. More or less they're going to have a specialty clone trooper to make it a little more interesting for the kiddies. Uh, so yeah, we could see like maybe a Commander Wolf, uh, Captain Rex phase two. It's hard to tell. Um, if so, that's kind of ruining the battle pack because the battle pack is supposed to build your army. You don't want to build an army of Captain Rex. Um, so I'm just hoping for two regular Phase 2 clones in that. If so, if that's the case, you can build an army of droids and you can build an army of clone troopers. So if that's the case, I will be buying quite a bit of that. Um, but it may not. It, may, it'll, it could be just like how we got the art trooper in the last one. We'll have to see. Uh, pictures will probably ah, pictures will probably be released in about three weeks or so. Usually about the first week of September. 
Um, pictures are out. Like Lego releases a catalog uh, to resellers and to the Lego store employees, the manager dudes. They're not allowed to um, release it. Those are the pictures with the kind of confidential thing on it. That's what I'm talking about. They have those out, but nobody has dared to um, basically copy it um, and scan it into the computer and then put it online. Nobody's done that yet. So it's it'll probably be about a month before somebody actually does that. Moving on, um, the Z95 Headhunter, well, th those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically an ARC-170, uh, you know how the ARC-170 has three different wings on each side, it's basically an ARC-170 with just one wing on each side, we saw it in Season 4 quite a bit, um, from the Season 5 trailer we saw it a lot, basically what the Z95 Headhunter is, is an, it's actually an escort, two, two of them usually escort a gunship, especially with a Jedi, uh, we saw that in Season 4 during the Umbara series. I'm actually very looking forward to this set, especially if it comes with General Growl. This is something I'd at least get four of because the Headhunter is a very cool ship. It kind of has a style. It fits in with like the V-19, the gunship and everything. So it's definitely a ship I would get multiples of. Um, and it'll probably be priced. It says three clone troopers and a possible General Growl. So maybe we could get that new pilot we've been seeing. This will be interesting. It will be interesting once we see these pictures. And then the Rancor pet, we already saw that. It comes with like three figures. Rancor, it can fit on top of the, uh, or I'm sorry, the Jabba Hut thing can fit on top of it. Um, so yeah. As for the planets, Planet Series 3, um, I like how they took my word. I said last year that they should make a Camino. Of course, huh? What do you know? They make it. But the figures suck. Like, uh, my, my suggestion, you know, Planet Camino. Somebody suggested this in the comments. I posted that photo with all the lists right there. Somebody posted in the comments that it should come with a Camino. Camino. Oh, yeah. Ah, I don't even know how to say that. But you know what I'm talking about. You know, the long, white necked, um, weird looking alien dudes from Camino. I mean, it would have, <laughs> it would have been a great set if it came with that. But the saying is getting a stupid astronomic droid and a Jedi starfighter. How lame is that? Like, if, if that's. I re these are rumors, but more or less these rumors are real. 99% of the time this is real rumors because this is an official list and I can tell that it's going to be right. So, an astronomic McDroid, eh, that's really lame of Lego. They know we want a Camino uh, person dude, um, so that's really lame. Or even a clone trooper and then like a gunship would have been much better than a Jedi Starfighter. <laughs> yeah, when you, Lego just lost a lot of sales for doing that. Um, and then the planet Coruscant, clone pilot, and uh, Republic uh, Assault Striker. That sounds promising. I, I definitely sound, the Coruscant sounds cool. Just the planet itself, I can actually think of a bunch of uses out of that. Even though it's like a little ball, I can actually think of a lot of uses. The asteroid, like I said, that'd be interesting if it's actually another one mold or it's actually built out of Legos. That'll be quite interesting. The TIE Bomber sounds pretty cool. Um, that's if you're, if you're a Star Wars movie fan. Um, but yeah, so the ones I'm looking forward to is definitely the Old Republic Battle Pack, the Clone Trooper versus Droid Droidica's Battle Pack, the ATRT definitely. That's, that's the Chicken Walker. I love that thing. I bought like 10 of the old one. Now I kind of regret that. I just spent a lot of money on getting 10 of those. And now I have to... Now a new one's coming out and it's probably going to be even better. So I'm really disappointed in myself. Bad mistake. Anyways. Um, and then the Z95 Headhunter. That's going to be a promising set too. So the Battle Packs, ATRT, and Z95. Not too really... I don't... Honestly, the A-Wing is a waste. Nobody's going to buy that. I'll tell you that right now. The Rancor Pit. Sounds cool. I'm sure... Uh, I'll, I'll like it. But I'm sure... Um, you know the official the 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 original movie fans will love that a lot a lot more than I will cuz I'm more of a clone wars episode I like episode 2 and 3 and then I like clone wars those are my favorite kind of star wars uh movies and shows and whatnot so I I'm going with the clones a lot more um uh, I kind of sound like a little kitty but uh I I just like the stuff a lot more than the original stuff uh, as much as a star wars fan I am as I am and then the Camino course on this sounds cool. The planets sound cool, but figures with it and the little sets come with it. Not so promising. The asteroid tie bomber. That's cool. You know, I'm good with that. 
So, uh, these are official rumors, meaning that they come from a reliable source, and the source that I got it from, it's the same people who got the last three years since 2009 Winter Series right. So, I'm going to believe that this stuff that we have here is very much real. Um, when will we expect them? It's probably the same time frame as we did last year. We got probably late Janu January. I hope it doesn't end up to that case because usually it's at the end of December right after Christmas they release 2013 sets but maybe the same case as last year where they released at the end of January it was a really stupid move of Lego to do that hopefully we'll get it a lot earlier hard to predict but yeah also the new logo it's Yoda for 2013 if you didn't know so guys, that's my opinions on the 2013 sets. This is a long vlog, but you know, I'm sure a lot of you wanted my opinion on the new sets. So there's my opinion. By the way, this picture right here of the list of the sets, that is mine. So if you do use it, please give me credit. Um, but yeah, by the way, it's on my Flickr. Uh, I may have to take that down soon, by the way. Because if, if LEGO asked me to take it down, then that's confirmed that this is an official list. So keep that in mind. So if I take it down, it means that it's official. And what I just said to you is real, including the figures. So, yeah. I think that's about it. Like I said, ATR TZ95 and the two battle packs sound promising for this year. Sounds something like I want to get multiples of. Last year, I didn't get more than five of each of those battle packs because they were just... They were cool, but they weren't multiple sets. You could, you didn't want to have an army of... of um, uh, rebel commandos and a freaking army of arc troopers because you don't need an army there's only like four maybe one usually and then four at most so it's you know lego's got to understand that the kitties including myself I, I i i want multiples of these things i want to buy them to build an army not to make it seem weird like having a big army of arcs that doesn't make sense in the star wars universe it may look cool but it doesn't make sense. So in the Star Wars universe, that is. So, anyways, guys, that's my uh, little news on the uh, 2013 winter sets. Be sure you share the vlog to everybody. Tell them about the new sets, because I'm sure everybody's been dying to know what the next um, series of sets is. So, thank you for watching this vlog. Give it a nice big thumbs up, and um, yeah, see you guys on another vlog.